What's up guys, Nick Ehrlich here with the Lean Life Revolution and today I wanted to make a video for you to talk about a little bit of kind of the getting in shape cycle. Okay, now if I think there's something in social media today that's really deceptive, um, it's, it's people that put up these pictures of themselves in great shape. Um, they just say like, they show you themselves in great shape and they're like, boom, here it is. Awesome, I'm super ripped up, follow me on Instagram, okay? And that's great, but my problem with that is this, is that those people aren't showing you the process that it takes to get in such excellent shape, okay? And, and believe it or not, those people work really, really, really hard. I mean, obviously, there are people in the world that are genetically gifted, but nobody ever walks around, uh, you know, in like unbelievably sick, ripped up shape naturally you know what I mean that takes a lot of work and here's what I, here's what has to happen for that to happen okay this is the cycle okay number one this first leg of the cycle is you find a weak point okay so maybe your weak point is is that you can't squat very well you don't have a good kind of movement based squat position okay so the next step is after you find your weak point you're squatting is to go to the next phase which is to bust your ass to fix it you know what I mean? Now you put in the work, you put in the hours, you put in the time to fix that weak point, and boom, the third step is that you fix that specific weakness, okay? But the thing is this, after that, the cycle starts again. You find another weak point. Maybe you can't do a push-up. So now you bust your ass, and then you fix the fact that you can't do a push-up. And so rather than just thinking about fitness as this start to finish kind of line, what we do instead is we make it this kind of infinite continuum of finding your weaknesses, working on them, and fixing them. Um, there's a great book called Becoming a Supple Leopard by Kelly Sterrett. It's a great resource uh, for people who are really, really active. It has a lot to do with pain and where it comes from and fixing it. And one of the things he says in that book is, you know, fitness and wellness, it's kind of a process of always finding and fixing your weak points before finding new ones, you know? So don't think of fitness as this end destination where you're just going to get there and you're going to be in shape and you're going to walk around all the time with your shirt off. Don't get me wrong. That's cool to do too. And you can totally do that. That's your prerogative, right? But think of it instead as this practice of always locating, working, and fixing on your weak points or your weak areas or, or just your weaknesses. You know what I mean? Me personally, I'm a terrible bench presser. I don't have a very good bench press. So there was a long time where I found a spot where I could work on my bench press technique and ultimately I went from a terrible bench presser to a bad bench presser. I made progress there, okay? But the fact of the matter is, is that I love using this model to always look for my weak points work and then fix them, okay? So think about this when you're thinking about your fitness journey. Don't think of it as directions to an end point. Think of it as this continuum where you keep going around, finding the weaknesses, working on them, fixing them, finding a new weakness, working on it, fixing it, because this is really the way to enjoy the journey of getting in really good shape. And that's what I want for you, to enjoy the journey of getting in great shape. Thanks for checking us out. Click on this icon in your top corner to connect with us and make sure to subscribe because I want to help you get there. Thanks for joining the revolution. Have a great day.